Hey folks, Jamie here with Journey North. Oh, I noticed a lot of the people I follow on YouTube had rain this week, and lots of it. And I made a few comments how I uh, would rather have snow and cold than rain. So what happened here? Yesterday it warmed up into the mid-30s, and today we have rain. Which is going to freeze and make everything hard, crunchy snow, make a mess. Not a good thing. Like I said, I'd rather have snow. But uh, overall just shitty out today, so I didn't feel like sitting in the house. I had not much else to do, so I went on a little trip to Anchor Point, Alaska. Which is as far west as you can drive in North America on the highway system. And it's a real small town, just out of Homer, Alaska. But there's like uh, four thrift shops slash pawn shop type things in that town. Three of them are open today, so I hit up all three. They all know me. So I like to swing in there every time I get into that area. So I just spent a little bit of money. And I uh, figured I'd show you what kind of rusty junk I found today. Nothing too great, but uh, some nice little projects here. The first place was a pawn shop. Got me a new redneck anvil. And I don't know if you guys check out prices of actual anvils, but they are expensive. An anvil this size would be a couple hundred bucks here just uh, to get it shipped up here. Or if you find it, you know what it costs them to ship it. And the new ones are not good steel. These old pieces of rail, they work well. This one here's already got a point cut on the end, which is which will be handy. Got that at the pawn shop. A little four in hand, got a little bit of rust on it, but overall in good shape. Got that at that same pawn shop. And an older, there's no stamps on it or nothing. It's in good shape. A small cross peen hammer. I, I'm not sure what they. We're asking on everything all together. Um, I believe it was like 18 or 19, 20 bucks or something on on a piece of rail. It was two bucks on the forehand, and the cross peen was six. Um, I offered them 20 for it all, which is a hair more than uh, I would have paid, you know, down in Wisconsin in that area. But uh, everything here is something I'll, I'll use. These are like eight bucks brand new for the forehand. Um, you, I could find a piece of rail and cut one myself, um, but this was handy. They've had it a while, um, and to make, throw it in with a package, I thought it was a good deal. Cross peen, just a nice size, not damaged or anything. No stamps, but uh, gonna make a nice piece for my collection. Uh, thrift shop. Got some bad mushrooming on the one end of the sledge, but it's it's a nice shape. Uh, fairly old, I think, just by the shape of it. I got that there. And then uh, this 8-pounder, which is not old. It's uh, it's stamped Japan, 8 pounds. But uh, I threw them as a package deal and gave them 5 bucks for both of them. Um, I think I could have got it a hair cheaper, but the lady that runs that place, uh, she knows my deal. What I, what I look for and what I buy, so... Uh, I, I can only get a buck or two off of everything at that place. And then the other place is an antique shop. He, uh, I think he actually picks through some of the, the scrap metal bins and stuff at the dump and stuff like that. Um, he likes old rusty tools. Uh, I have him where he sets aside any axe heads he finds for me so I get first crack at them. This time of year, not much going on there, though. But he did have a... Just an old mall. Um, not worth anything. It's it's stamped Mexico right on it. Um, somebody did a horrible grind job on it. But uh, I gave it, he, he wanted three bucks for it. And I gave him the three bucks just for the fact that he does, uh, he holds stuff for me. So I take the good with the bad. And uh, he's a small town, small operator. Likes, likes doing stuff for uh cash make an extra few bucks when he can so i got no problem you know giving him a little bit extra 
Pawn shops, on the other hand, uh, they will screw anybody over for any reason. That's how they make their money. You go to a pawn shop, don't be afraid to lowball them. Don't feel bad for them if you find a good deal. They're making money. Don't worry about it. But, uh, yeah, that's just some of the stuff I found. I was really excited for uh, for this old sledge because I, I, I like the shape of that one. Like I said, it's mushroom, but I'll clean that up. It'll be nice. Um, these here, I, I will rehandle them just for the fact that uh, I only have a couple bucks into each one. Even with the handles, I'll, they'll be under 15 bucks. Um, I could sell them for that once I get them cleaned up. Cross bean. Uh, that, that's just a nice user for my collection. Or we're good with this uh, redneck anvil for doing some uh, small blacksmith work and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much what I did today. Kind of took it easy, did a little looking around. I spend more time looking at the pawn shops and thrift shops than I do buying. It is a good time to get into them. It's uh, middle of winter. Uh, people are hard up for money, especially at the pawn shop. A lot of stuff there. Um, pawn shops like to keep new, nice stuff. Um, I don't buy new, nice stuff, so um, I always look for the old stuff. But if you're looking for new, nice stuff, right after Christmas, not, you know, it's not quite, well, some people are getting their tax money back in areas, but uh, they were hard up for money. They might have pawned some stuff around the holidays to get some cash. So uh, check out your pawn shops. Uh, I'll be hitting the pawn shops hard now another month or two once winter's on the tail end for uh, chainsaws. You got all around, all around, everywhere I've been, you're going to find them, them type of people that uh, if they need something, they go out and buy it. And the minute they get hard up for money and don't need it anymore, they, they pawn it. So you, you find good deals on chainsaws. Um, you know, you'll be snowmobiles coming on the marketplace. The snow's about gone in our month or two. Um, stuff like that. Seasonal products you're going to find in the off season for good deals. So if you're in the market for any of that stuff, buy it when you get the good deal for it, you know. But I'm going to, I got to head to the opposite way tomorrow. Just do my, my grocery shopping. I don't need a lot, but it's uh, Sunday. It's a good day to do that stuff. So I'll uh, swing over to my uh, hardware store and pick up some handles for these for some projects. Um, I'm sure you'll see them in some videos. None of them are going to be set, you know, none of them are going to be great, amazing pieces. So uh, I'll show you when I get them done. Maybe do a couple videos where I'm working on them and uh, BSing. And we'll go from there with that. But uh, I was really happy with the with what I found today. All stuff I can use in a couple projects. Arnett, uh, thanks for everyone that's been doing uh, some shout outs. I hit uh, 200 subs last week. I think I'm right around 202 now. I, I went up really high, then I lost a couple, which is fairly normal. But uh, views are going up. Everything's looking good on the on the YouTube front. Um, I'm not really worried about that stuff, anyways. I'd rather have uh, you know, 50 real loyal subscribers that are always in the comments, which I have, and uh, that's my social platform. I like uh, BSing with you guys in the comments, commenting on your videos, stuff like that. Um, I will be doing another shout-out video soon. Uh, I do more, but the group I have now, we're pretty much all sub to one another the way it is. But uh, go down in the comments, read everybody's comments, check and see if they got a channel you'd like, and check them out. Uh, thanks for sticking with, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take her easy.